Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, here to show you a very simplified diagram of an antenna known as a log periodic dipole array, and that exactly describes what it is an array of dipole antennas connected together in such a way so as to have a longest dipole at the back, the shortest dipole at the front, the front being the direction in which maximum radiation and response occur. And if you connect the points at the ends of these antennas, you get a logarithmic curve. It doesn't look that way here. It looks more linear here. But generally speaking, an antenna like this has a continuous broadband coverage ranging roughly from the half wavelength frequency of this dipole antenna, say 7 megahertz, to the half wavelength frequency of this dipole antenna, say, well, it looks more like it. it'd be 1.8 megahertz. That would make this a pretty large antenna. Uh, but it's been done. Log periodic dipole arrays can cover uh, frequency ranges generally of about 4 to 1, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. You may recognize this design from the olden days of television before cable when antennas were used rather than cable connections and the antennas for television reception were more often than not log periodic dipole arrays because of their broad banded nature but of course they were much smaller being intended for very high frequencies 30 to 300 megahertz or thereabouts. This is the basic configuration though for a log periodic dipole array, half wavelength dipoles. You can get a general idea of the overall dimensions if you just decide on a frequency range that you want. 7 megahertz to 28 megahertz might be a little more uh, practical from a, a, a physical standpoint than 160 meters up through 40 meters, but um, with a Baldwin a transformer of the appropriate ratio and coaxial line to your radio, and you put this thing up pretty high, it operates a lot like a Yagi in terms of its directional characteristics, but as a continuous broad banded coverage. Note the uh, switching of the phase as each a dipole is reached by the phasing harness is what they call this. It's a length of feed line twisted 180 degrees between each antenna. The log periodic dipole array in a nutshell, the nut of course being yours truly, W1GV saying 73 and so long for now. Translation in my native fist, da-da-da-da-da-da. Da, 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 da.